Now, moving on from that condition, we move on to appendix and typhoid preparation. And all of them are still abdominal. So um, this one, I'm sure that you even know what I'm going to talk about before I even start. So um, for appendix, we know that it's an organ that you don't attach any significance to. If I say significance, it doesn't have any um, physiological function. So if you take my appendix off today, I, I can live for the rest of my life. So, but then because the, the lumen, you, it, there's no outflow. It goes in and comes out. Sometimes um, things get stuck in there and it gets inflamed and then you have pain. And if you're not lucky and uh, it's perforates, it causes the whole abdomen to be infected, peritonitis. So we have uh, um, appendix as one of the surgical conditions. And um, we have appendix surgery done as an emergency where there's uh, acute inflammation, patients having pain, fever and all that, and they come in and we do the surgery for them. Or the person has some infection, is treated, and it occurs, so it is scheduled, oh, come and let's take it out for you, and it's done. Or when there's another general um, abdominal surgery, and the surgeon decides to take the appendix off once in a while, I mean, just that the patient will not come back at a later date because of an inflamed appendix. So there are some um, diagnostic evaluative uh, criteria that I've put on the, on the slide for you, where we we'll call it the Alvarado score. So um, we look at a score of one, two, depending on what is wrong with the patient and what symptoms the patient are, um, is presenting. So we have issues like the pain, the nausea and vomiting, rebound and the temperature, and then the, depending on the laboratory findings too, we, we, we score it. And a score of seven or more is strongly predictive for acute appendicitis. It is just something I found that it's something that we are not used to. So. I added it to the slide just for extra information. You know that in our hospital, we don't normally use uh, any scoring system for appendix anyway, but we are doing degree, so we have to add uh, more information. So we'll go and read on Alvarado score for appendix. Then um, the investigations that we do also, sometimes a person may be pregnant, it's not an appendicitis. So when a person comes uh, lower abdominal pain uh, towards the right side, um, you think that maybe it's appendix. But if you also do a pregnancy test, that will make sure that the patient is not pregnant before you go any further. And so there are some dif differential diagnoses that the doctor may, may give. Now, um, all these differential diagnoses are just to help you to make sure that you are dealing with appendix and not any other um, so I gave you differential diagnosis for different categories of uh, people now when you have appendix perforating there are some risk factors which I want to highlight a few of them one is aging you are, you are at risk of perforated appendix then if you have poor immune system diabetes and then your stool uh, hardens and blocks the lumen, appendix can rupture, and then uh, pelvic appendix, and then previous abdominal surgery. So when you come in, we treat you sometimes with just antibiotics and you are fine. Now, in some cases, a patient uh, is given an intravenous antibiotics and then sent to the theater just to prevent further infection. Um, during the, the surgery. So usually for Ghana, most of the appendix is done emergency surgery. So a patient will come with acute appendicitis and then from the, um, the OPD to the ward, they prepare you to the theater, appendix is done. And they don't normally stay in the hospital for a long time. 
some of them they go home the next day some of them the third day they are go they are home so um appendix surgery is done now for typhoid perforation um typhoid fever is going to be handled by your medicine um, as part of your medicine course but when there's um poor management of typhoid fever it perforates the intestines and again the abdomen is uh, opened up where the perforation occurs they cut all those off and then the anastomose they kind of join the healthy parts you know so that is that is it typhoid perforation surgery they do research and anastomosis so it's also an abdominal surgery and all these signs and symptoms again you know it from the medicine typhoid fever and so the diagnosis you should know and then the management so briefly typhoid surgery is not planned nobody plans for a typhoid fever to perforate so this one too is an emergency surgery and it's done for the patient when a patient comes back there's ng tube you take care of it take care of the wound the drainage sites, the IV fluids, the catheter care, the pain management. So you, you borrow from uh, session two and three uh, for the rest in the next semester, you build on that. So if that one, you are not very strong in that, then there are always problems uh, for you.